Hello, hippos. How are you today? So good to see you. I wanted to let you know that the next few weeks we're going to talk about robots. This is the word robot. Will you say the letters with me? Ready? R O B O T spells robot. Did you know that robots are machines designed by people to do jobs that they don't want to do or jobs that they can't do? Robots come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are big, some are little, and some look like people. There are robots that make cars, put them together, and they also paint cars. There's also a robot that's on the planet Mars. Wow, this robot is there because people can't go to Mars. And so the robot gets information to tell us about the planet Mars. Remember last fall, we learned that Mars is really dusty. We learned that from that robot. And that robot is called Rover that is on Mars. I wanted to show you a robot that I have. His name is Mip. M-I-P, and he is controlled by batteries. So I'm going to turn him on. The switch is in the back. Here, I'll do it this way, and let's see what happens. Oh, his eyes lit up. Oh, he said something. Wow. In a video that I will give your parents later, I'm going to show you what he does. He's pretty cool. But right now, I'm going to turn him off. I'm going to flip the button to off. His eyes went bye-bye. And I'm going to put him over here. Okay, I'm going to read a story to you today about robots. And I wanted to tell you that this book has lots of characters. So I want to show you who the characters are in the book. The first one is Teethbot. He helps you brush your teeth. The next robot is called Cookbot. He does all the cooking. The next one is called Wash Bot. He washes your body. The next one is called Dress Bot. He dresses you. The next one is called Clean Bot and he cleans the house. And the last one is called Dry Bot. And this robot gets you dry when you are wet after you take a bath or maybe come in from swimming. Wow. Okay, this book is called Robot Rompus. I might have to get scooched back a little bit so you can see the pictures. It's a really funny book. Okay, let's see if everyone can see that. Okay, all right. My mom and dad are busy. So just last night they said, we decided to buy these fantastic robots to get you into bed. I thought they must be joking, but Dad switched the robots on. Mom said they're the latest models. What could possibly go wrong? Let's see. Then Cookbot made spaghetti. I ate the lot off my plate. Cleanbot did the washing up Everything seemed just great. Washbot ran a bath. It said, you will be spick and span. I got my bath toys down off the shelf, shelf, but that's when the rumpus began. Crocodile is my favorite toy. His teeth can really snap, but soon as Washbot spotted him, it got in a bit of a flap. Hmm, wonder what's going to happen. It said, dangerous animal in the water. Three warning lights flashed red. Then it went and slipped into dress bot, who sat down on teeth bot's head. <gasps> oh my goodness. Dress bot burned round and round like it didn't know what to do. 
and Teethbot started brushing its head and squirting toothpaste down the loo. Oh my goodness! Wow! Cleanbot was whizzing about. It was trying to keep things tidy. But Dressbot started putting pajamas on the robot that had to dry me. Oh no, they're all doing their jobs, but they're all mixed up. What has happened? My goodness. Uh-oh. Cookbot came in and stared, and its warning lights flashed too. Then it nodded and zoomed away like it knew just what to do. I hoped it could sort out the mess. This was getting beyond a laugh. But all it did was cook more spaghetti and tip it into the bath. Look at that bathtub full of spaghetti. Oh my, would you want to take a bath in that spaghetti? Hmm, let's see what happens next. Uh-oh. I know that robots can't cry, but Cleanbot looked close to tears. Look at her face. How do you think she's feeling? To me, she does look like she's kind of crying. Huh. Cookbot sat with a book on its head and smoke coming out its ears. Hmm. Do you think that it's feeling happy or sad or mad? Let's see. And Drybot couldn't manage to get my pajamas off its head. So, in the end, I left them and got myself into bed. Whoa. I think the robots were exhausted. They crashed around some more. Then everything went quiet until... My parents walked in the door. Oh, they said. The place was a bit of a mess. It hadn't worked quite like they'd said, and I don't think they got a good night's sleep with seven robots in their bed. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the robots. Here are the parents. Look at their faces. Do you think they're happy? Hmm. Would you like to have seven robots in your bed? Look at the little girl. She's laughing, isn't she? Wow, those robots were supposed to put her to bed. But she ended up putting herself to bed. The end. What did you think about that silly story? Did you like it? What robot in the story did you like the best? I think that I would like the clean bot robot to live at my house to clean my house. Which one would you like to have at your house? That's it for now. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye, hippos.